Welcome back to Raiden's Armory, everybody. And today I'm going to be talking about a knife that I was able to get actually last year in 2023 in the summertime. This was a drop from DLT Trading that while ago, and it was a drop that they did, and I was super excited. As you can see, this is the Les George symbol. This is a Les George pouch. What I got is a Les George VECP button lock with titanium morph scales. And obviously, that crazy blade is the Chad Nichols Raindrop Damascus blade. I absolutely love this thing. And since it is a plunge lock, it is a new rendition, a new version of the VECP that Les George famously does and he's been doing for many years now. So super, super cool. I love everything about this knife so far. I love the way it feels. I love the way it looks. I love the way it actuates. I love the way it locks up. It's absolutely awesome. Now, obviously, this is a knife that's, you know, not easy to get. That's why I was super stoked that I was able to get it. But this is a knife I've always kind of wanted. I've always wanted a VECP, and when I saw this version, actually in 12 Days of Christmas, the deal to trading does every Christmas time, they did this up two years ago, and they had, like, a handful of these. And ever since I saw that one, I was like, I gotta have one for the collection. And ever since they did that, they did this newer drop, uh, this last summer, I was so excited that I was able to somehow be able to get one. So glory to God for that one, because I don't know how it happened. But yeah, this is a very, very cool blade. It's it's such a unique part of my collection. And since it's a VECP button lock, I am just over the moon about it because uh, it now takes away any uh, possibility of, you know, you know, so if you're holding a knife like this and then the lock, you can somehow... Sometimes you can get some little bit of lock stick and stuff when you're pressing too hard on the blade. But now that it's a button lock, you don't really have that problem. I can squeeze as hard as I want and push down on cuts uh, pretty aggressively without having to worry about a frame lock right here. Not saying that the VECB frame locks are bad. I'm just saying that's a possibility that could somehow happen. Also, button locks are easier and they're a little more fun, a little more fidgety. Um, this knife is actually running on phosphor bronze washers making this really smooth, and it kind of does a really cool smooth uh, rollout. Also, the action on the plunge lock, which is this massive plunge lock right here. Super cool. And it's actually uh, captive in this little part right here. It sits in there, and it's kind of symmetrical on both sides, which is pretty look cool looking. Um, but yeah, the action on the button itself is pretty nice. It's, it's, very, it's a big button lock. I, I love how uh, girthy it is, and I love how um, overbuilt this whole knife is and that the button is also super overbuilt yeah that's just a really cool part of this knife is kind of the theme of it it's really overbuilt but also really elegant at the same time let's go talk about the handle now i uh i really like these morph scales i think this is the uh one of the best titanium scales i've ever seen done even especially in these higher end american made production knives and at this price range comparable to uh hinderer knives for example these scales are absolutely awesome and I just love the way they are rounded off and chamfered on every side as you can see here they're completely rounded off and then like chamfered and so it really really makes a really nice lock and it almost feels contoured that's how good the milling was done on these titanium scales and I obviously love the the morph pattern it goes into these very small micro milling even right here it's kind of milled right here you can see those little lines and it's polished right here on the captive screw head uh and it just just bonkers how how awesome this milling work is i just love it and the tolerances are so tight you could just feel it when you're opening and closing the blade how how tight there is no uh detent lash there's no up and down play side to side play if the, lo the lock is closed up or locked up or not that's how tight this is and it's pretty comparable, like I was talking to you guys about uh, Rick Hinderer knives. I'll pull out a XM18 3.5 inch real quick. Uh, this is the Spanto, and I also have a really cool scale on there. But yeah, I want to compare the finishes and also kind of like the size and kind of the weight and everything. Because they're very, very comparable. So that's the VECP. Here is the XM18. The VECP is coming in a little bit larger. The uh, blade is slightly bigger. And the handle is slightly bigger. Actually, it's actually almost the same size. But yeah, the blade's going to be slightly bigger, making it a bigger knife. Um, the blade's also wider, so it's going to be a lot better at slicing. 
It's going to be a lot more slicey than your hinderer knives. Um, it's going to be more like the Chris Reeve knives where they're kind of really good slicers, right? Um, but yeah, oh, let me just talk about the finishes right here. As you can see, the titanium on the uh, the Hinderer XM18 right here is also super, super reflective. This is more of like, I think, more of like a river stone wash. Uh, I only say that because it's so polished. Versus this is a heavier, heavier polished stone wash uh, when you compare the two. But not saying this one's not shiny. It, it actually is really shiny, but this one is like, it like glows, almost looks white. Like this white sheen of gleaming light that comes out of it. Um, but yeah, I, I just... This knife, uh, from the handle perspective and the way it actuates and all that, is awesome. Now let's talk about the blade. And that's something I really like about this is that it's such a utilitarian blade shape. It's got a really high uh, flat grind. that goes into this huge swedge. and has a huge, like, almost clip point style, spear point style blade. And it is um, pretty thin behind the edge. And since this is the Chad Nichols Damascus... I think it's made out of AEBL uh, steel as the core. And then it has different steels around it to prevent it from, um, you know, like oxidation and stuff like that. So it's actually a very utilitarian Damascus steel. And that's why I was so fascinated with the Chad Nichols Damascus that they produce. Is that it's uh, a steel that you can actually use. And it's not just kind of icing on the cake. It's actually going to be a very, very good user-friendly steel that's going to be easy to sharpen and super tough. So and it's going to hold a pretty decent edge at the same time. So that's what kind of makes this knife super, super elegant and super, super classy looking. But also, it's also a hard use blade that can be carried and just, you know, used all the time. And that's what's kind of cool about this is that it is such a, a mashup between hard use and elegance. And that's kind of why these uh, high-end American-made knives... Uh, kind of speaks to me a lot. That's why I really like collecting these high-end American knives. Let me bring in my Demco 8020 just to kind of show you how they uh, size up. Obviously, the 8020 is going to be bigger than both of these, but and the blade lengths can be slightly bigger, but they are pretty comparable. Now, if you were to ask me which one would I choose when it comes to ergonomics, I'm going to choose the VECP. When it comes to uh, action, it's going to be the Demco. And when it comes to uh, polishing... And like kind of like the the way the knife looks and aesthetic is definitely gonna be hinderer. So it's like it's kind of if you have best of all worlds, this is almost like the uh, my version of the knife uh, trinity they call it, which are the best um, knives that you know <laughs> uh, the top three favorite knives that people collect. People said it used to be Chris Reeve, Strider, and then Hinder. I think it's gonna be for me. It's gonna be Hinder, Demco, and Les George, and these are the ones I collect personally. And the ones that I was able to get my hands on. And these are also honestly my favorite aesthetically. And also just the tolerances. The fit and finish of these are insane. But yeah, I was super excited to get this one, guys. I love the way the thumb studs are. They're almost like a hexagon shape around there. And then it's also uh, really smoothed off right here and polished on either side. It has a screw head so you can unscrew if you need to sharpen. But yeah, the poly clip's pretty simple, but I like the way it is. It really is just, really works. And that's what I like about this. It just really works. It doesn't need to be something crazy. It blends in really perfectly with the titanium, so I have no problem with that. There's lanyard hole. I'm never going to use that, but whatever. It also looks like a really cool striking, <laughs> um, almost John Wick fighting, <laughs> striking in the back, and then like doing some crazy uh, ninja art, ninja martial arts stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, this is a really, really great blade, guys. It, it, honestly, it's a crown jewel in the collection, and I'm just so happy I was able to get it. I've always wanted a VECP button lock, and I'm so happy I got this crazy one. And if they come out with a Magna Cut one, I'm probably going to get the Magna Cut one, too. Uh, if it's a morph style, morph style, the morph uh, pattern or not, I don't mind. If it's smooth titanium, I know it's going to be awesome. I have no problem with the smooth titanium. Um, it's just epic, guys, and... I think Les George is really knocking it out of the park. And if you guys weren't trying to get your hands on these, these are not available right now. But keep looking on knife relay retailers. I have them all throughout my description. Check out those. Those are the actual ones I shop at. Um, I also have like uh, different links where you can get discounts and stuff, save a little bit of money. Helps the channel also. But um, yeah, so guys, check check uh, keep checking those those knife retailers because I heard that Les George could be doing a lot more this year. So I know he's going to be doing more button locks for sure. I mean, it's just been selling so hot lately and I think he's really trying to up his uh, production on that. So yeah, guys, super cool. Um, 
everything about this knife is honestly flawless. This is one of the few knives that was in my collection that's flawless. And I just love everything about it. And I love how it's... Um, honestly, it's, it's honestly, I like that it's rare. And I like that it's kind of classed up or blinged out in a way. Um, just super cool. This knife makes me super happy. I love this one a lot. But guys, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. I love to hear also your guys' comments. If you want to leave a comment, please do that. I love to... Uh, respond. I love to hear you guys' thoughts, what you guys think about the channel, what about the knife, and maybe recommendations for other videos you'd like to see. Um, so guys, thank you so much. Uh, God bless you guys and appreciate you. Thank you.